Feynman technique is going to help you understand any topic faster and better. And in this video, you will get to know how to use the Feynman technique. And I am also going to try to provide different examples of explaining various different topics by using Feynman technique. Before I talk about the fundamentals of the Feynman technique, let's talk about the person that inspired this technique. Why is this technique actually called the Feynman technique? Well, it is named after Richard Feynman. Mr. Feynman did not come up with this technique personally, but it is named after him because he is the embodiment of this technique. And I have to talk just a little bit about him before I go on with talking about the Feynman technique. If you are not interested about knowing the person behind the technique, the timestamps are there, you can skip around. He does not hold the image of absolute perfection to everybody. That is not possible. Some of his contemporary scientists downright hated him for various reasons. But there is absolutely no way of denying that he had a brilliant mind that was dedicated to science. Even the people that hated him admit that. He invented the Feynman diagram that was immensely helpful in the understanding of subatomic particles. He also helped people to find out what the main reason was behind the Challenger disaster. It was an ugly business. In that report, he mentioned that reality must take precedence over public relations, for nature cannot be fooled. Oh, and he also won the Nobel Prize in 1965. It was shared with two more people. I'm not going to elaborate on that in this video because I also have the series on Nobel Prizes. And when I reach 1965 in that series, I will talk about it. Yep, a long way to go. He had done a lot more to various science fields than what I have just said. His accomplishment was mind-blowing on its own. But what is more important in the context of this video is his ability to explain complex topics very simply to almost anyone. His lectures are legendary. Bill Gates is one of his biggest fan. He has a video on YouTube titled The Greatest Teacher I Never Had. And in that video, he talks about Richard Feynman. You can still find his lectures online. Richard Feynman also said something along the lines of knowing the name of something and actually knowing something is not the same thing. Now, Feynman technique. What is the technique and how you can use it? I am pretty sure you have met one or two people who like to use technical jargons anywhere they can and we all know how annoying that can be if you want to know about an example that really annoyed me as a student stick to the bonus part of the video now i'll be talking about how you can actually use the Feynman technique to learn any topic anytime so when learning a new topic any new topic you need to do the following first Write down the name of the topic on a piece of paper. Then write down what you understand as if you were going to teach it to a child. Then find out what is missing or still complicated in that explanation. Go to the book or the website that you are trying to learn from and try to understand this technique better. After going through your resource materials, Try to simplify the topic even more. After all the steps, you will have a far better understanding of the topic than most. You have to bear in mind that it is not always going to be very easy. But to really gather knowledge and understanding, this is one of the best ways. Now I'll be moving on to examples. So if you are trying to understand Porter's five forces, you can simplify it by saying that there are five things that will influence a new company trying to do a business in the market. These five things are 
the people you are doing business with, the suppliers. The people you are doing business for, your buyers. The people that are already doing the business you are trying to do, your competitors. The people that will be doing the business in the future, your potential competitors. And the people that are doing similar businesses, your substitutes. That's it. That is Porter's five forces for you. Those are the five people that will influence your business. And now I'll talk about Newton's law of motion. I will be oversimplifying it right now. I am not a physicist. Keep that in mind. I am providing this example as an example of the Feynman technique to show you how to easily explain a topic that can be complex to some people. First law of motion would be that if you don't push on something, it will not move. And if you push something, it will keep moving until something forces it to stop. The second one would be that when you push something, the speed, also known as acceleration, will depend on how hard you are pushing it and how big the thing is. The third one would be if you push something, you are going to feel the exact same amount of push from that object. That's it. That was all for the explanation of Newton's law of motions. And now I have to tell you, as I was writing these explanations down, I had to simplify them in four different cases so that I can talk to a child about these concepts. Now I hope you understand what the Feynman technique is. It is a fine technique to understand almost any concept. I just realized I missed the opportunity to make a pun that Richard Feynman was a very fine man. As a bonus, I said that I am going to talk about a concept that annoyed me in school. I was really annoyed with the way the concept was written. It is a really simple concept, but the writing is very complicated. It is Hooke's Law. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Hooke's Law. I am going to state what Hooke's Law says. Alright, ready? Hooke's Law says that the strain in a solid is proportional to the applied stress within the elastic limit of that solid. Don't you get it? It is really simple. The strain in a solid is proportional to the applied stress within the elastic limit of that solid. Yeah, I felt really confused when I heard that first. Until it was explained to me easily. Now, the easy way of saying that would be every solid object can be pulled and stretched. If you pull it, it will get stretched. For some objects, you have to pull harder for it to stretch. There is also a limit for every object that is called the elastic limit. If you try to go further than the elastic limit of the object, the object will break. That's it. If you pull something, it will stretch. And if you pull something really hard, it will break. That's the concept of Hooke's law. There are formulas there that are important, but I'm not going to talk about that. Hopefully you understand the basic concept in here. And that is where the video ends. Yes, there is nothing for you to see after this point. You can click off the video right now. Seriously, there is nothing more of value in this video after this point. I'm just going to talk about liking and subscribing, nothing else. Alright, you can support this channel in Patreon. Your support will help the channel continue. Really. You can like this video if you found anything useful here. I will also put relevant resources related to the topic down in the description section below. Be sure to check that out. 
you can also comment below on what you think about this video or your general thoughts on the channel you can share this video with people you think can find help from this video more people finding out this channel is always helpful for me you can also subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon if you think you would like to be reminded by youtube whenever i upload my future videos yes yes i know you all know you can subscribe to any channel and by clicking on the notification button you are telling youtube to notify you about whenever i upload anything in the future but i have to say that in the video if i say that it reminds the viewer that you can subscribe and it is proven that if you tell the viewer to subscribe they subscribe more it is actually factually proven so you have the option of subscribing oh boy if you're still watching then i would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart really thank you and since you have stuck around till this far you may want to watch some of my other videos who knows you might like them as well but i have to bid you farewell for now i really hope you learned something new today